Ball swings up to Pokashevsky. And that'll be back-to-back -back travels. This one's going to go against the rookie in J-Dub. This is what the Thunder going to do is get out and run. Not allow Memphis to set up that defense. As Dort has the feet set, fires up the three and hits. And back we go the other way. Conchar. And J-Dub recovered. It looked like he affected it and might have got a piece. Dort once again from the outside. That's good. And Dort doing a good job with this 8-0 run, just helping the, the Thunder settle in offensively. As Jackson Jr. is going to get fouled. To get to the free throw line, here is Williams. Floater. That's been so reliable for him over the course of the season. As Aaron Wiggins comes in for the first time, as does Lindy Waters. The toss is a little higher this time around. And Adams going to win that one. Got it over to Roddy this time around. And Adams going to win that one. Got it over to Roddy. Poku contests. And how about Kenrich fighting for that rebound? Right, good job. Just coming here helping out the dudes. The emphasis on the style of play that OKC wants to have. All the different ball handlers in running their offense the way they want to run, which is drive and kick and creating advantages. Here's Morant. On the dive by J-Dub, poked it up to Wiggins. Wiggins with the initial step in, he'll score. But he plays to his identity consistently, and that is a big sign of professionalism and mental toughness. Thank you so much, Paris. And Lindy Waters, back-to-back -back threes. We're two guys that were the drivers, ball dominant. The guys that are playing, these are three-point shooters that are playing the game. So the Grizzlies have to be aware of this. J-Dub tees up the three. And we're going to get a loose ball foul underneath Muscala. Seeing a deep roster tonight for Mark Dagnall. Trey Man. He's off the bench. Now it's Kenrich, comfortable with the deep two, and knocks it down. How about a one for 13 over the final five and a half minutes? And Jay Will freshly inserted. He just decked Brandon Clark. And we're seeing some guys that might not have been playing as all that consistently. Darren Jackson Jr., that runner with the left hand, he likes that shot, but again. And with that being said, the pace is in your favor because you don't have to set up your offense. Why set up your offense if you don't have to? That's what the Thunder have done so far. That is yet to be an issue right now. Jay Will in the game. As we said, playing for the first time since the last game against Memphis. Waters got blocked at the rim. And Williams on the turnaround. That is yet to be an issue right now. Jay Will in the game. As we said, playing for the first time since the last game against Memphis. Waters got blocked at the rim. And Williams on the turnaround. And that one drops in. Kind of beating the Grizzlies at their game right now, turning the tables on them. Williams way too strong on the three. Kind of beating the Grizzlies at their game right now, turning the tables on them. Williams way too strong on the three. We got Kenrich Williams, Zaire Williams, Jalen Williams. And another Jalen Williams on the bench. As we get a foul. And it'll be Kenrich Williams. Take that all day long because the Grizzlies just don't give that up. They're the number one rebounding team in the league. They're tough on the offensive glass. They're really big. big. It is fun to watch Kenrich Williams and Aaron Wiggins go about their business and attack. And there is Aaron Wiggins again. It is fun to watch Kenrich Williams and Aaron Wiggins go about their business and attack. And there is Aaron Wiggins again. It's Kenrich Williams for this new shot clock. But they have such an ability to read. How about Jalen Williams? the baseline. Good job by Wiggins to get off the floor on the other end and come down and make that play. J. Will, top of the key three, and he buries it. OU Health coach's corner, and Michael, as good as this Memphis team has been playing, they haven't seen a whole lot of guys like Lindy Waters and Jalen Williams. Uh, absolutely. Well, it's something that Mark Dagnall really wanted to utilize early in the season, all season, the exploration, putting guys in different spots. But kind of to your point, Michael, is here's a missed layup. Well, it's something that Mark Dagnall really wanted to utilize early in the season, all season, the exploration, putting guys in different spots. But kind of to your point, Michael, is there's a missed layup. There's a tactical advantage to having a rotation that's not always predictable. And having different guys coming in in different spots as Kenrich Williams spots up from downtown. I mean, these guys have all, look, it's, they're in training camp together. 
Some of them have gone down to the G League, but they also practice the same system and the same. He's been coming off the bench his entire career, going back to his days with Minnesota. Man, another side step. That time left it a little bit short. The ball swings up to Brooks. Boy, Memphis is just ice cold. Moran thought he got fouled. Good job of potting him up. Door to let it fly from the corner and knock it down. Six then nothing. Well, they've done a good job of closing out on those shooters. It's not giving them a lot of good looks. Well, J-Dub just reading the defense, used that screen, pulled up for the two. A couple of times, remember the block? Yeah, absolutely. First time these two teams met. But the thing about that play is Poku, remember the block? Yeah, absolutely. First time these two teams met. But the thing about that play is Poku, he kept his arms straight up. I mean, tighter this year than ever before. It, it's not even close. You're not getting away with much. So Kenrich comes right back on the offensive end and buries the three in front of Aldama. Should note that Dort missed both free throws. Boku, one off the line, the high layup, and he kisses it home off the glass. That's tough to do against Sierra Jackson Jr. Starting in place of Moran. At times, way short of the three. Thunder get it up the floor to Pokashevsky, just not enough time. So okay, he's got this lead early here, third quarter. Omarui set it up for Joe. Got to find a little space, J-Dub, top of the key three, no. Offensive rebound, Omarui. That is a man with a lot of power on the inside. J-Dub had it poked free. J-Dub can't turn the corner on Conchar, sets it up, catch fire three. That is Pokashevsky, and they keep it going, just blistering the Nets from three. This Memphis team's not going to just go away. A lot of time left to go in this one. J-Dub's short shot no good. Here comes Brooks. They're atop the Western Conference. Seven consecutive wins. Third longest win streak in the NBA this year. Oh, and I say it, Joe, tickling the twine yet again from the outside. Good. Tis the season of Thunder basketball. Give the gift of a holiday ticket package. But he looks so comfortable when he's got the ball in his hand, also creating something that they are encouraging him to do more. Thunder right now look like they're in a matchup zone. Just trying to control that. And Brooks throws completely off. Jadel making his move on a good defensive player in Williams. And we're going to get another foul. A fresh 14 on the clock. Oh, Dort, the speed right through the seams of the defense. Another open three. Kenridge can't capitalize. Oh, look at the speed on the drive of Dort. He went around three different Memphis Grizzlies. Roddy can shoot it. Not that time, though. And Kenridge with a good box out on Jaron Jackson Jr. For the Thunder rebounding all night long, Michael has been on point. Muscali got taken out. That leaves Kenridge open. Count the bucket and the foul. For the Thunder, rebounding all night long, Michael has been on point. Muscatli got taken out, that leaves Kenridge open, count the bucket and the foul. You know what's interesting, Michael, with all these drives that the Thunder have had, and they've obviously shot the ball well from three, but the shot blocking ability of Jaron Jackson Jr. has not been a factor tonight. You know what's interesting, Michael, with all these drives that the Thunder have had, and they've obviously shot the ball well from three, but the shot blocking ability of Jaron Jackson Jr. has not been a factor tonight. Memphis using a series of screens for Tyus Jones. Roddy's been looking for a shot all night long. That one misses wide left. A little bit off, but you love the fact that he had so much space to take the shot. Oh, and Kenrich got back, flew in, and stole it away. And you try to get back into play defensively. Kenrich, oh, he had to step momentarily. Not just a warm-up shot. Williams shut off nicely on the baseline. And Clark outside the key. Now they got .6 seconds. And there's just no time at all. Kenrich catches, points, and a little bit too strong. But nonetheless, still a good test. Well, yeah, and you know what? They've done a good job so far here of just maintaining their composure. Wiggins thought he was going to miss it. He followed the shot, but he drains it, no problem. Jay Will getting some minutes here to start the fourth quarter. Had some quality minutes in the first half. Eight to be exact. Trey Man. Oh, he spins it home, plus the 
foul. Obviously getting the opportunity with no Morant. Trey Mann, is he feeling it from the outside? Yes, he is. Trey Mann buries another three. Runner been able to maintain the lead throughout the game, throughout the second half. Roddy pulled the string. Wiggins trying to pull it down. This is going to be an end one for the second consecutive possession. Aldama had it. Look. After that timeout that they called. Kenrich getting downhill, turns the corner, no good. Brooks goes left, pulls up, line drive. And Wiggins, another rebound. Boy, he has been all over the glass. Bumps it off. Jay Will. Oh, he avoids Aldama. Jay Will's made one three. And the tap over by Aldama to man. He's open. He'll let it fly. And two excellent looks from downtown. Brooks has been looking for a shot the last couple of possessions. Clark. Set him to the free throw line. Take the three instead. Want to run a little more offense. Dort has been using his speed all night. Jay Will back outside. Man. But this time he'll fire up the shot. Missed it wide right. J Dub at the controls. Going to work on Adams. Oh, and Adams came over and swatted it away. A rare block. Brooks. Outside Jackson Jr. leans into the three. Brooks has been really looking for a shot. Jay Will, though, sniffed out that lob pass to the interior. Isaiah Joe, defended by Jackson. Again, the shot clock under five. Kenrich Williams, long three. We know the Thunder has to bring the action to them. Isaiah Joe, his three is good and a big time. And a great read of the defense because of Tyus Jones was sleeping. Brooks got the shot off, and the long rebound snatched away by J-Dub. Points huge. J-Dub getting to his spot, pulls up a little bit short. So now the Thunder still got to play defense with 63 seconds left. Eight-point lead. Jones lets it fly. No good. Rebound to J-Dub.